I am Dr. Vaikunth Raju. I am a pediatric neurologist uh, currently working in Bangalore. I practice at various hospitals. Uh, I practice at Indira Gandhi Institute of Child Health, Sagar Hospital, Jayanagar, Cloud Nine Hospital, Jayanagar, and also I practice at my clinic, Bangalore Child Neurology and Rehabilitation Center in Vijayanagar, Bangalore. So multiple sclerosis is usually less common in children compared to adults. Usually, it is common in females compared to males. Usually the common presenting complaints are weakness of one side of the body or sometimes weakness of both the lower limbs and that can be also usually also with the problems with urine and uh, stools. Sometimes they can also present with the sudden onset of uh, vision uh, loss, one eye or sometimes both the eyes. Rarely they can present with the convulsion that is fits also and usually these episodes are recurrent. Usually first episode sometimes may not be able to find out there are multiple sclerosis or sometimes it can be mistaken for stroke or brain fever. So if it is coming one or uh, more than uh, two three times uh, then you can uh, thought of clinically it is a multiple sclerosis and it can be identified with uh, multiple MRI of the brain. So in the MRI brain you will identify various signal changes. There are multiple areas of the brain will be involved both the uh, upper part of the brain and lower part of the brain. And these uh, changes will be there both uh, acute and chronic that means they can be an old uh, lesions and also new lesions. So it can be diagnosed based on MRI and clinically in the MRI you need to identify various uh, signal abnormalities both uh, old lesions and also new lesions appearing in the MRI and it should be there in multiple areas and uh, both in the upper part of the brain and lower part of the brain. So multiple sclerosis is diagnosed basically by clinical suspicion and it can be confirmed with the MRI of the brain.